Welcome to Toffee TV, it is my three talking points. Everton 2, Bournemouth 3 at Goodison Park today in the Premier League. The Toffees beaten again. Ten goals now conceded in three games since the season started. Absolutely appalling start to a Premier League season. Villa away next. Um, it's worrying, of course, it is conceding over three goals per game with a defensive manager is terrifying to anyone, um, whether you're his biggest fan or you're not. Them numbers don't add up. Um, I'm beaten again. I'm beaten today by a poor side on the day. Done really well at the end. Went for it. And, you know, bravery. You, you get rewarded for your bravery sometimes. And Bournemouth certainly got that. But they were scratching their heads walking off that ground. How they won that game, trust me. And um, it was down to the substitutions. And that's what happens in football. You make bad choices. You get punished. And... That's what the manager did today. And that's my first talking point, the substitutions. Absolutely woeful by Sean Dyche today. I'm sorry, that subs. We were in total and utter control of a game of football against a team that looked like they wanted to be anywhere else than Goodison Park with 10 minutes to go. Tim Irabunum was out on his feet. Seamus Coleman was out on his feet. So the manager decided to take off Illiman and Jai, who was... I'd just terrified Bournemouth all day. He was the biggest threat. Looked like he was going to carve them open again. Looked like we were going to get threes and fours and five goals. And he took off. He just took them off, which meant nobody kept the ball for us. The person who was keeping the ball and running at Bournemouth and keeping it away, you know, from the opposition, um, he took them off and it didn't make sense. He put Dwight McNeil out there. He also looked like he was running in treacle at that point which again didn't make any sense. I don't know whether there's a pact or something that he can't sub him, but he got put out on the left. Decore got put in. I mean, if you were going to leave McNeil on, fine. Right? If you're going to bring Decore on, you have to bring Decore on. Bring him on for Irabunum now. To bring him on and change the team around just give Bournemouth even more incentive. It was really poor. You know, it should have been... He was never going to put Roman Dixon on, of course he wasn't, but he could have put Ashley Young on for Seamus with, with 10, 12 minutes to go. Just Ashley Young could have played comfortably 15 minutes, 20 minutes maximum at right back with injury time. Easily. It would have been, what, 15 minutes if he'd have put him on with 10 to go. He could have easily done that. He's experienced. I'm sure he can survive 15 minutes. James Garner who I thought he was definitely going to bring on and have him sitting alongside the Drisagana gay when Tim Irabunum started. You know, his, his legs had gone with 15 minutes to go. He was looking tired. He'd had such a great game for us. Or, you know, really, really... He was everywhere. He'd run the game, as far as I'm concerned, in the sense of the park, him and the Drisha gay. And he's let it go. And then I hear him in a press conference saying he could smell something wasn't right when it went to 2-1. Mate, we all know we're Evertonians. We watched the game. We could tell you something wasn't right. Didn't need to go to 2-1. It was, you know, when there was about 10 minutes left and we kept giving them the ball after they'd made five subs and we just still continued with our 11 who were looking tired. That's when your 450 games should have told you you needed to make changes. And what changes shall I make? Well, you should be able to tell. Because you keep telling everybody how experienced you are. But you should have seen the middle of the park. Tim Irabuna was knackered. It just, it was, it was an element and die by getting on the ball and carrying the ball up the pitch when Bournemouth weren't a threat. And it was, it's just, it just winds me up. Some of his comments, I think, are just pathetic. I really do at times. And his substitutions have cost us. And people can disagree if they want. That's up to them. The substitutions cost us. Really poor. Didn't make sense. So Calvert Lewin off and put better on for three minutes. And that didn't, at that point, it didn't make sense either. Dom looked a bit disappointed to be going off, but was still a threat to them. But he just changed the whole team and the structure of the team. And anyway. Bournemouth, fair play to them, they went on and won the game. The second thing I'm going to talk about is the transfer window, which, again, it's highlighted today. If we would have had a quick right winger that we spent every day looking for, apparently, 
in the window and couldn't find one anyway. Um, chase one who just so happened to sign a new deal yesterday in the end with Leeds, um, which is a, a poor decision as well by an answer. But hey, um, we could have put them on and, and changed it. You know, when Jack Harrison was looking tired because he ran himself into the ground in the heat, he would have had more options. But he didn't. That, is, that said, the window was shut. Everton have done, Everton have had a decent window without spending tons of money. They've had a decent window. They've got in, obviously, Illiman and Dai, and he was he was excellent today. He was man of the match today for me. Lindstrom, whether he'll get a minute, who knows. He's brought in Jake O'Brien, but he looks good cover. Well, Michael Keane is playing instead of him. Good goal, though, by Keane today. He's also brought in um, Orel Mangala, who's going to sit in the middle of the park when he's available. Wasn't available today, of course, will be after the international break. Armando Breuer, which is a bit of a mad one. I like the player. Anyone who watches our channel knows I like the player, but he is injured at the moment. And he's coming in as a fourth striker in a team that plays one. But he's another option. It's good because he's another weapon to have. We really, for me, and obviously Timmy the Boonham, who's been sensational as well, if we'd have got the right winger and we'd have ended up with Mangala and Breuer yesterday, <clears throat> you'd be saying what a brilliant window it is. So we can't lose sight of that. We have got players who've sort of improved, but I still can't get away from the fact the right winger position should have been corrected. And having a right winger today, would have been able to mix that up and change it and put Bournemouth on the back foot. We've seen more and Jai does on the other side. It would have been really helpful. If we could have got new Omar and no, there was issues with I didn't want to leave France and he's played Everton and Fulham off, making it as complicated as it could be so that he didn't leave Leon. Fair play to him, he doesn't want to come and play in the Premier League yet, or doesn't want to play for Sean Dyke, or didn't want to play for Silver, whatever. Um he would have been good because he's quick, so Everton have got to address that in the next window, pace, because the team just doesn't have any. Um, but overall, you have to say, it, it was a decent window. I know people will fume because it, it should have been a winger, and I'm still not happy with that. Some people really want a left-back, but there you go. So overall, it was okay, but it did sort of hammer home today uh, the importance of having pace and being able to use it. And finally, finish on a positive, the performance of Illiman and Jai, one of those players who was coming in this transfer window. Thought he was brilliant today. Really clever on the ball, positive all the time, using the strength, running at Bournemouth, terrorising them, dribbling past them. He should have scored himself a goal or two, a little bit better finishing, creator chances. And like I said, for me, taking him off, was just absolutely crazy. It was a kamikaze move by the manager. He was the one who was like buying us seconds on the ball, running around their penalty area with the ball, with the terrified to make a tackle. He was winning three kicks, going into the corner. He was the ideal play you wanted at 2-1 to get on the ball and take us back up the pitch and keep it. And he took him off. Um but he showed today that he could be a really key player for us. Little bits of Pienaar in with him, how clever he is. He's a bit of a diff. He's more of a dribbler than Stephen Pienaar, but little bits of cleverness. The issue is, I suppose, we don't have Leighton Baines playing behind him. Um, I think an attack and fullback would be, make him even better. Um, but he's a real positive for us today. and He was my man of the match. I thought Ira Boonham was excellent. I thought he really was. I thought he was brilliant, but he did tire. Really dropped off. Young player, just getting into the Premier League, getting used to it. So, you know, hopefully his fitness will build as we go on. But in Jai, was it was a real positive day. Getting it on the edge of your seat when he picked the ball up. Evan having had too many of them players over the last few years. he done that really well, and he does give me some hope that if we can play a bit more attacking on the front football, it on the front foot football. He can be key to that. He can be at the heart of it. We can score goals. We got two today. We should have ended up with six, seven, eight. And in the end, ironically, Bournemouth could have, could have ended up with 
they got three, they could have got four or five. Jordan Pickford's made two brilliant saves at two two to to really warm, you know give everyone a shake up. Look, I'm keeping us in the game, step it up, we didn't. But with and Jai's positivity, with and Jai running at defenders, with and Jai committing defenders, can he get amongst the goals? He has to now. If he does that, he can give us that real attack and threat that we've missed. I'd have loved the pace on the other side. I think that would have given us that sort of next next level up. Um, but not of it a matter if we can't tighten up at the back. That's the real issue. Brantway coming back will make a big difference. But yeah, we can't make substitutions like that again, Mr. Dykes. That's got to, you've got to be better than that. And if Njai's on and he's terrorising people, you don't take him off. You do not take him off. And if you do, you don't change half the team around or move players around just to fit it. But he did. But yeah, I'm going to finish on the positive. Illiman and Jai thought he was brilliant today and showed us a real glimpse into what he can bring to this team. So there you go. Not much more to say. It's another defeat forever. And I, I, we've, we've snatched the feet from the jaws of victory with this one, that's for sure. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Have a good weekend if you can put this one out of your mind. If you're a Bournemouth fan watching it, I'm sure you'll have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. See you later.